Louisville heads to Pitt, and this number is crazy. Louisville now favored by 7.5. It has come down like 2.5 points. Total of 45. It's a 5.30 p.m. Central Time game on the CW. And let's pull this thing up. I've got Louisville favored by 15.26. Situationally, this is awful. Uh, Over the last four weeks, just the last four weeks numbers, Louisville minus 15.91. So not a ton of difference between the full season and the last four weeks. Uh, Other than Louisville's passing defense has uh, kind of dropped off a little bit. But for Pitt, I mean, we're we're moving to a backup quarterback here. Uh, The starting quarterback is now a backup tight end. Um... But again, just like everybody always talks about, this is the spot where Pat Narduzzi shows up with some kind of a game plan because Louisville gave Notre Dame everything that they had last week. That's what you're that's what you're looking for here. I don't think that Pat Narduzzi has enough left in the tank with this team, the way that it is constructed, to be able to slow down a Jeff Brom team. I do not believe it. So you look at these pit numbers on defense uh, against the rush. Yeah, sure. Why not? Number 18 PPA per rush allowed. Number 26 rushing success rate allowed. Uh, teams are running the ball on them 67% of the time. But that's not what Louisville is going to do. That's not where they're going to be uh, their best versions of themselves. Louisville hits big plays throwing the football. As you can see on the screen, number five in passing explosiveness, well, Pitt's defense is number 96. How are they going to be able to stop Plummer in that offense? And running the ball, yeah, Jordan is great. Uh, But are you going to continue to run into the teeth of that defense? And how much does that front seven play back whenever you hit them over the top of something? I, While I do think, obviously, we saw this Louisville team win close games, against uh, NC State, who was not good at the time. But I think they're getting better, and we'll talk about that game here in a minute. Uh, Derek jumped in. Can Pitt win this game? Like, Louisville played a close uh, close game with Indiana this season. Look, I think early on in a first-year coach's tenure, you were still trying to figure things out. This Louisville team gets more and more dangerous the longer they go because they get more and more familiar with, and they believe more and more, in what the coaching staff is trying to do, right? The, the coaching game plan is way better, and Brahms' teams have always gotten better as the season went along. I, this seems easy to me. Like, it, you're, if you are betting on, and I, I think I heard Josh Pate talk about this, like you're betting on what will happen, not whatever, and that's true. But in this situation, if you bet on Pat Narduzzi and this pit team, you are betting on something that just has not happened yet and has shown no signs of being able to happen. You've got a Louisville team that maybe is coming off of a, uh, uh, it, we'll call it a letdown. We'll call it a letdown spot. Biggest game in Louisville history last week, whatever. But you've got a competent coaching staff with that Louisville team and you've got some real talent. And I believe that they are going to be able to uh, get a win and a a comfortable win with margin over Pitt. That's the direction that I'm going with it. So, yeah, give me Louisville minus 7.5 uh, because that number has just come down too much. And I, I imagine it'll be below a touchdown, so you might want to be patient and get your number. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.